Uh, we're on to the 13 litter. This would be lots uh, 43 and 44. Uh, be a crossbred barrow and gilt in this litter. We've got a couple more gilts coming up after this. Just one barrow in this offering, but uh, lots 43 and 44. Uh, sired by Overruled, which would be the Ottenwalder boar that's done a great job for us. Be the Rule 21 son. Uh, we've had a couple crops of those, uh, two and a half, and this would be the uh, the second uh, crop, main crop of them. And excited about what they're doing. Kind of predictable in the way they're going to feed. Mother's uh, Dirty Harry Spitshine would be a litter mate to the uh, lot or the uh, 11 litters I just talked. Uh, be a litter mate sow. That Spitshine sow is a Backman Gilt that won uh, uh, Georgia there, uh, Georgia Nationals for the Pages and uh, uh, a couple years ago. And then she produced the Grand Overall Bear at the Kansas State Fair two years ago for the Dreher family. So, uh, Grandmother's awfully good. Like these pair of gilts here. A uh, great deal for sows that have uh, worked for us. So we're going to start off with the uh, lot 43, be the 13-1 barra. This belted barra is uh, the bigger pig, uh, probably one of the bigger ones actually in the offering. Probably fits the uh, July setting or the August setting depending on management. But he's one that's uh, it's a high-headed kind of a hog that's got that overruled shape in terms of uh, body and uh, uh, just natural shape and muscle he's got. He's a heavy structured, square-ended kind of a pig, good tail set. And one that, uh, you know, we think he could manage into a heavyweight in August. Or if you want to show him in July, he probably fits that setting uh, either way, just depending on the way you want to feed him. He opens up true and square, good about his pastern set, and loose and flexible. Uh, we think one, uh, once he gets dark and uh, uh, gets it, hits the show ring, gets oiled on, we think he can be a, a good competitive bear there on down the way. 13-3 is a crossbred gilt. This would be lot 44. Um Here's a gilt that uh, that offers some shape and muscle, uh, has that power you like to see in terms of uh, just turn, center body's good, good about her pasterns, loose, uh, loose hip and hind leg, opens up with some chest floor, and still good about her head and neck. She's a gilt that uh, probably suits the market or breeding, as I've talked some earlier ones. If you've got a market show you want to take her to, if you've got a jackpot, uh, she'll jackpot extremely well. She'll jackpot early, but she could also be a, a big ring, a mature show gilt uh, uh, that has those extras that it might take to get through it. Loose floor. Flexible hip and hind leg, uh, angulation set up front's awfully good. We think that gilt uh, very versatile in the way she's going to do and has some breeding value afterwards.